My brothers, my sisters, here we are once again. One more week of this. One more week of this pandemic. One more week of this attack against God's children, uh, against the earth, against the world. As I look at what seems to be a ghost town, I ask myself, since when has the mission changed? We are still, still to this day called to be light in the darkness. We still have the spirit of power, not the spirit of fear. We have a mandate to spread the good news even in the midst of this storm. I'm not here to tell you to hide or isolate yourself. I'm here to tell you I know what hope looks like. I know who hope is. I know who conquered the grave and gave us the authority and dominion to walk this earth with no fear. I know who gave it all for us to live and have authority to take actions when things like this happen. I'm not saying go out and start hugging everyone. I'm saying stop thinking that just because everything is being shut down means you need to be shut down as well. The device you hold in your hands is a great tool to spread the news, to spread the news of Jesus. So what are you waiting for? If you know Jesus gave us hope, and we are supposed to be his reflection, then stop attacking each other and start spreading what you are supposed to reflect. Keep your head up. Even during this time, never let the world convince you to be someone you are not. You were set apart. You, were, you may not be superhuman, but you are chosen. Fear, anxiety, depression, COVID-19, and anything that attacks God's children we all come against you in the mighty name of Jesus and bind you because you have no authority over our lives. Your kingdom come, your will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. We all have strength from above. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you all.